Mr. Speaker, I yield my time to the Chairman of the Appropriations Committee, Terry England. Chairman England is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We've been here quite a while now, and I too will be very short and brief in my comments. You know, life gives us many experiences. It gives us the experience, or I've had the experience, of delivering calves dead and alive. Delivering pigs, dead and alive. And I want to tell you, Representative McCall, Representative Roberts, all of us, Representative Anderson, that have done that, Representative Black, that have done that, it breaks our hearts to see those animals not make it. You know, a few years ago, I had a young man come to me at our store. And... Uh, it was when we were debating, talking about dog and hog hunting, I believe, and at that point there was some language inserted in there that dealt with uh, uh, chicken fighting. And a young man called me to the side and he said, I want to tell you one thing. And y'all, this is, this is salt of the earth people I'm talking about. Someone I would have never in a hundred years expected to tell me what he told me that day. He said, Mr. Terry, I want to tell you something. You tell those folks down there when they quit killing babies, they can have every chicken I've got. Now, if that don't put it in perspective for you, real quick, your bread ain't going to rise and your eggs ain't going to cook. It made something real to me that day. I've been pro-life my entire life. I've never dreamed in my life of my wife having an abortion should we have been lucky enough to have children or anybody that I know. But that one statement kind of framed everything for me real quick that day. And I want to leave you with one quote. And it's from the owner, owner's manual of life. I know many sometimes say we, we don't get owner's manuals, but I'm going to tell you there is one called the Holy Bible. It was spoken by God through men and through Jesus Christ itself. But in Jeremiah 1.5, he tells us, he doesn't stutter, he doesn't stammer, he tells us this one thing, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. He knew us before we were conceived. He knew us when we were conceived. He knows us now. And it's not our job to play God and abort children. Mr. Speaker, I yield the well. Gentlemen, has yielded the well. Clerk, ring the bell. The previous question has been ordered. Is there any objection to adopting the committee substitute? The chair hears none. The committee